Hi, welcome to this channel. I wanted to be rich. Today, we're going to talk about something very peculiar and important, and I personally find useful because it changed my life totally. And it is the connection between tidiness and money. My name is Lee. I teach about money, investment, and personal finance. So what is the connection between tidiness, minimalism, and money? I personally like to share a story about myself. I am admittedly a shopaholic and I I don't know why because I I graduated, I made a lot of money and suddenly I felt like I have to buy more things and it, it never I, I never got satisfied because after buying iPhone 7, I iPhone 8 came out, iPhone 10, iPhone 13 and the, the cycle just continues. Obviously a lot of this equipment and, and personal items improve my life, but I have like five pink shirts you know, seven pair of shoes that look the same and one that I didn't wear. A lot of things in my closet that I that the tags are still on. And I realized that my life was spiraling out of control. My credit card bills were coming up. And the worst thing is, it's sort of like a compulsive consumption. Because it wasn't something that I willingly wanted to do. It was, it was you know, all the advertisement and, and I feel, you know, compelled to buy. It wasn't even like what I need and often I would go out just to buy something to satisfy my craving for for shopping and that really affected my finances because happiness just dwindled away after I bought the item like just after three days I, I don't feel happy anymore and I need to buy again this urge to constantly consume um, it's it's a, a problem in this capitalist society until I watch a film called uh, the minimalist and I read a book uh, by Marie Kondo called The uh, Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Uh, so combined with minimalism, I think it really changed my life. I'd like to share with you how I did it in uh, five methods. Number one, um, I started to confirm what I already have. So I piled up everything. Number two, I identify items that are repeated or I haven't used for three years to sell or donate. And this is very hard for all the books and sentimental items that I have. I, I, I'm gonna highlight how I did that. But just the overview is that number three, I realized after I tidy up, it saved me a lot of time. And number four, the space that I created is not just physical, it was a space in my own mind that gave me clarity of thought. So I became clearer, clearer in terms of how I think. I like my workspace more at home and it was, it was excellent. I, I'm surprised that this minimalism and life-changing magic of tidying up actually work. And number five, uh, tidy house, you know, tidy space is equal to tidy finances. I, I no longer miss my bill payments. I no longer have to buy a lot of things. I no longer feel cluttered. There was a sense of peace. And I'm going to show you how I did it in this later part of this video. So I was saying that I have so much chaos and clutter in my life. I felt like I was suffocating in things and all these things that I bought. I have so many pairs of shoes, so many pairs of glasses and Ray-Bans. Well, don't get me wrong. I have one pair of Ray-Ban that I absolutely love. I'm going to include the link below. Uh, but other than that, you don't need 20 pairs of Ray-Bans because I don't even wear them. Um, so if you, uh, I included a link below of this wonderful book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And you will see Hollywood is talking about this lady called Marie Kondo and the Con Marie method of tidying up. It's, a, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's like magic. It is because I never thought tidying up can change my, my perspective with money and finances and how I spend and how I feel every day. It was great. I felt light, happy and peaceful. And really with so much chaos in my life and with the pandemic, it, you, this can really help you, I hope. Um, so her book has a link below and there's also a Netflix series by Con Marie. Check out her Netflix. If you haven't caught her Netflix series um, by Marie Kondo, catch it or The Minimalist. I have also included a book of Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It's amazing. I would personally read both the book and watch the video. So um, 
I highlighted earlier, but there is a few things that she highlighted. And if you don't have time to watch or read her book, I'm going to talk about it here in just five minutes. Well, place the item according to frequency of use. So for example, if you use something very frequently, place it nearer so it's accessible and visible. And things that you don't use a lot, like for example, winter clothing during summer, you can keep them away. And, and there is a KonMari method of folding. It's amazing. I never believe folding can actually change your life. Uh, number two, and this is a very radical. Take out all your items, say all your clothes, and pile them all together. It has to be all together. It has to be physical. It has to be messy and chaotic until it can improve. So, for example, I took out all my clothes, all my t-shirts, and all my tops, and I piled them together, and I found out that I have so many similar items, and I discovered that a lot of these items that I bought for so much money, uh, that I put on my credit card, I don't even use them. I have used them twice in like five years, and I'm still keeping it because I spent so much money in it. It's occupying my closet space, and if you live in a crowded city, you're paying rent on this space, man. This space could be used for other things or just, you know, clear up your mind, have space. So I have so much, so much clothes that I was overwhelmed by it. I didn't have time for myself. I was cleaning up my clothes. So by piling up all these things, I physically see how, how many things I have and it overwhelms me. And I realized that I don't use them. And then I put the items aside to donate or I sold them on uh, Craigslist and or or Gumtree or Facebook and 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 I got rid of them and and it's amazing because I the items that I left are really items that I cherish and I love and how this has changed my money method is that now when I go out and buy something I really give thoughts to it what what kind of space I have and how much maintenance I need because weekends I was doing laundry I was you know trying to organize them so much time is spent on selecting the clothes that I have to wear. Um, by having minimalism, I now have a pink top, a white top, a black top, and I spend so much, so much less time on selecting what I should wear. And you don't suffer from this thing called decision fatigue, which is why Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, and a lot of millionaire billionaires, yeah, they're not even millionaires, they're billionaires, they, they make sure that they are wearing something consistently so they don't suffer from this thing called decision fatigue and I highly advise you to look into this thing called minimalism and having a like you know a standard closet a basic closet so that your focus can be on your work or your life and you don't spend so much time on house chores okay the next thing is mindfulness and this is not always about just throwing things away or tidying up uh, Marie Kondo is, is a lot about mindfulness and emotional aspect of connection with things you know like I said I consume so much I spend so much on my credit card it is not something physical it works because of something emotional because I constantly need to consume to buy things in order to feel fulfilled and that is because inside your inner inner self has an imbalance you don't feel balanced you don't feel fulfilled unless you consume so you have to understand the spiritual emotional side and the mindfulness side of it and I, I recommend meditation um, is to thank your item thank your home hold the item in your hand feel it and understand the physicality of it and how much space it occupies and how it interacts with you every day so that you have a mindfulness of the things that you actually own and then you don't go out and keep buying things especially clothes and little things that you really out your wardrobe and then you start to have chaos and clutter in your life that you don't want number four make sure items have home every item have a home um, in your drawer so that everything goes back and they're not like um, you know messy and everywhere and you can't find them how often ask yourself do you not you're not able to find something Number five is the Con Marie method of folding. Yes, I didn't believe this. I didn't think that I should fold my clothes when I'm gonna wear them. But folding your clothes, and like Peter Jordan, you know, his book on 12 Rules of Life, Making Your Bed, really changed my life. It makes me feel accomplished the first thing in, in, in the morning. 
and seeing all the clothes folder really give visibility and it really helps me with um, seeing how many types of clothes I have and what are the colors um, and number six is very interesting is to hold the item and see whether it's box joy especially sentimental item if it's an item that you force yourself to keep because it's simply expensive and you don't love it you don't like it you bought you made a wrong choice I suggest that you sell it off or donate it um, it's okay to let go it's better that way it frees up space for new things to come into your life new ideas and sometimes just space empty space itself give clarity of thoughts um, and then how does this translate to money is that after minimalism after I could see that I have this pink top red top black top white top I could easily every time I try to buy something of the same I remember that I have this item so I don't first of all I don't buy the same item again second of all with the space being clear I feel so peaceful coming home I don't go out so much anymore uh, trying to escape my own home because it's cluttered and chaotic I, I feel peaceful coming back home and even working was very much less stressful there's so much le less anxiety working in a clean space I, I guess this is the reason why when we go on a holiday in a hotel room we feel nice because hotel rooms are like not cluttered at all so that sense of peace is something that I can't really describe to you in the video you have to experience it yourself is that a clean and decluttered room or space really helped me stay inside and it prevents me from going out shopping or wanting to like you know hang out so much and spend a lot of money I could easily be at home doing my work and long hours without the anxiety that I normally felt in a cluttered and chaotic house and the other thing that with money is that I could find my bills easily I organize them I know the due dates I have a checklist everything just uh, really come together so um, tidy house tidy finances I and also with credit cards as well I used to have seven credit cards and I, I now put them into three credit cards in the three different kind of payment groceries utilities and uh, you know excessive items like you know holidays big items so I put it on one card and I make sure that I know the due dates because I write them down and I put it there so I could see them and I buy nice stationery so that I could color them and, and it really makes it more positive every time I look at my bills so I look through my expenses a lot more and I physically print them out I scan everything I have a scanner and I'm gonna include the link below our scanner is gonna change your life it's gonna take away all that mess all that paper mess but you also want to see items uh, and remind yourself so uh, having a good iPhone really helps because then I can PDF everything and look at it or an iPad So you want to see what fits you the most and what work for, works for you And if you already have things that can help you use those things around you to help you or, or just pen and paper uh, A pen and paper is very basic and it actually works I'm gonna include link below of uh, my favorite iPad at the moment and my iPhone It really uh, helps a lot I wish you all the best in trying to tidy up your life and your finances. If you have any ideas, comment below. If you like this video, please subscribe.